everybody. I'm Peter Martin, jazz pianist, coming to you from the Sheldon Concert Hall in St. Louis, Missouri. Today we're going to talk about learning tunes in all keys. I think this is a crucial thing for us to, to practice and to work into our routine to become great jazz musicians um, for two reasons. One is we're going to need to be able to play certain tunes in different keys if we work with singers or different musicians um, just to kind of give variety. So we need to be able to um, have that you know in our arsenal um, but the main reason I think it's important is what it does for our ear training and ear development the specific kind of ear training and development that we need to become great jazz musicians since so much of we do we so much of what we do is improvise we've got to have great ears and not just um, the foundational ear training that we get from classical music you know intervals and chord structures that's very important but we have to have the kind that will lend itself, the kind of ear training that lends itself to being great uh, improvisers. So I found that this is one of the easiest ways to develop our ears. It's a lot of fun. It's really easy to kind of see, you know, what your progress is and what you need to do next. So you can take any tune. It's best to take something that you know really well. Uh, I'm going to start with All the Things You Are because it's a popular standard. Almost everybody knows it. Been messing around with it for years, but really any tune can work. Now the first thing is to really learn it in the original key, okay? So you, you want to have it memorized and you want to understand the structure of the tune and you mainly want to understand the relationship between the root movement, which is not necessarily a bass line, it's just wherever the chord is, not in this range, um, and the melody. So I'll play the first phrase. bones of this tune, the, the very basic architecture, the harmonic and the form architecture, which is the root of the melody. So the first thing you'll notice is the melody starts, the tune's in A flat, we're starting there, so the melody starts on A flat, which is the tonic, but the first chord is F minor, that's the relative minor. So it's important to know that, but it's even more important to be able to hear that. So you kind of acclimate yourself to this key, A flat major, on the tonic. That's one of the easiest things to hear. But then you also want to hear, it doesn't start here with the root. It starts here. You want to hear that. That, that relationship. So this is the root and the melody. Hear that relationship. Okay. So now what does it do? They both move up a perfect four. So you want to be able to hear that. continuing to go up a four. Those are all perfect fours. That's the first four chords. Each one, one bar long. And the melody is and then it returns to the tonic, then to the seventh, then to the third. Okay? So what I'm starting to show you is that we don't want to think about it as A flat, F minor seven, with an A flat on the melody, or B flat minor seven with a D flat, to E, E flat seven. We don't want to think about that. We want to hear that. Because when we start going to other keys, we're not going to be thinking of this, the static original key. So I'm thinking tonic, relative minor. And I'm trying to hear and remember, memorize those intervals. Okay? That way, when we go to another key, and we'll go somewhere that's not real related, let's start with F major. So I know it starts there already. Because there's not time to transpose, not from my mind at least. I don't have to think, okay, I'm going to F, and that's a minor third down, so that's, I mean, the tune's already gone by the time you do that, right? Wherever we start. What I've learned with this tune is not a bunch of notes and rhythms. I've learned the sound and the feel of what those melodies are. That root movement is an actual melody, right? It's just down here. 
I just played half the tune all the way to the end of the bridge, the melody here. So wherever I start, Okay, all the things you are is a great place to start, but start going through root, melody, um, memorize the sound of those, slowly go to different keys, and you'll be playing in all keys in no time. All right, happy practicing. Okay.